Okay, so we're going to talk about something called homologous chromosomes, and we have bandied about this term a lot in class, and I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, do a little quick video about it, just, you know, to review the, the point. Um, so this on the left is a generic human cell, all right? We see the nucleus right here. We see our, what, our nucleus, our different parts of our cell, you know, mitochondria and the, you know, the Golgi body, so on and so forth. So this is your generic human cell, all right? Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the nucleus right here. So this is an enlargement of the nucleus right here. All right, so that is an enlargement of the nucleus. The blue represents the DNA from your father, and the red represents the DNA from your, from your mother. Now, remember, this is the chromatin form. It's nice and all loose and accessible, and we can get to it. But if we were to separate these all out, we would see that we had 46 chromosomes in the normal human. Right now, there can be more than 46 in some cases. You know, trisomy um, 21, you can have 47. So there can be some exceptions to this, but in general, we're going to have 46 chromosomes. Now, with having 46 chromosomes, I can't draw out 46 of these on this tablet, right? It's just, it would not really be conduct or conducive to, to teaching you about them. So what I'm going to do I'm going to pull out one pair of homologous chromosomes. I'm going to pull out a single pair, one pair. Okay, and I'm going to use that to make my point. Okay, so now I've drawn two of them. This is one pair. The red is from your mother. Okay, this is your mo mother's contribution to the pair, and your father gives the other contribution to it. So you have a chromosome from your mother, a chromosome from your father. Okay, those are homologous chromosomes. Now, if we were to see, look at the loci on these chromosomes, we would see that they have essentially the same loci, same locations on them. So, so what do I mean by that? So let's just say this was the chromosome for, for blood type. Okay, your mother would have a region which would have whichever allele she contributed for blood type and your father would also have a region where he, that blood type allele would reside from from him okay and these are the allele pairs that lead to a that lead to some traits for example blood type okay so those are homologous chromosomes and if we were to look at a particular locus here on the father's chromosome, we would see an analogous locus on the maternal chromosome. And that would be the same, you just go and you would find analogous regions on both of these chromosomes. Having those analogous regions on them, for example, blood type here, this might be an A allele and this might be a, a B allele, having those analogous regions makes these homologous chromosomes. Okay, that's why we call them homologous chromosomes. Now, what do these chromosomes represent? I'm drawing them like almost like balloon shapes, right? If I was to expand this allele out here, we'd actually see we're using this to represent a sequence of DNA. And same with the father's contribution. If we were to expand that out, we would see that that also represents a sequence of DNA. All right, so instead of drawing out that whole long thing of DNA, we are just, you know, using these, these almost like balloon shapes, right, these long rod shapes. We're using those to represent what essentially is a very long piece of, of DNA, okay? So that answers the question, what are homologous chromosomes? Now, we use this term a lot in class, and I just wanted to make sure, you know, we knew what, what a homologous chromosome was. This was drawn on the board several times, but again, just want to make sure we're all on the same page as to what homologous chromosomes are.
So how many pairs of homologous chromosomes would a human cell typically have? 23. And I'm going to put a little star by that because the Y chromosome okay, can be shorter and that can, um, that's not ex does not have corresponding uh, locus on parts of it. Okay, so we call it a non-pairing region. So with that minor you know, asterisk to that, we have 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes, right? One coming for each pair, one came from the mother, one came from the father. Where did these homologous chromosomes originate from? And the mother, it came from the egg. The father, it came from a sperm cell. These fused here, right? And we form that, that zygote, which ultimately became you. And your DNA complement is half of your mother's, half of your father's. Okay? So that answers the question, what is a homologous chromosome?